important thing you need to know about Jesus. You know, we love the ministry of Jesus. But I'll just share with you the secret to the ministry of Jesus our Lord. Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Just to show you the secret to the ministry of Jesus. Now listen to it. Very early in the morning, very early, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. That is the secret to the ministry of our Lord Jesus. Is that Jesus mastered the art of being alone in the presence of God. Now, child of God, you are going to have to learn to spend time alone, to rise up early like Jesus did. You step away and it's just you and him. You and him. Two of you. Just you and him. Just you and him. It has to be just two of you. Now Jesus did this every time. He would pull away. He would withdraw. Go to the mountain. Spend time alone with the father. And I can tell you. If you want to know the miracles that happened in the ministry of Jesus. Is that every time he came down from the mountain. Every time he came from spending time alone with God. Miracles happened. And the miracles were astonishing. Matthew chapter 8. Now if you study the whole of Matthew chapter 8. Is that miracles happened. Every time he came down. Why? Because he carried that presence back with him. And miracles happen within the vicinity. Anyone who came within a few meters from Jesus, he got healed. He didn't need to touch Jesus. Matthew 8. The same thing that Jesus did, you could do. And it will happen to you. And miracles will dwell in your house. Matthew 8 from verse 1, please. Now listen to this verse. When he came down from the mountain, when he came down from the mountain, when he came down from the mountain, he was alone. He was alone. So he went to be with his father in prayer, in worship. So when he came down from the mountain, large crowds followed him. Now listen. Now look very carefully. He had just come down from the mountain. He's carrying the presence of God upon him. And who does he meet? He meets a man who is leprous. The man kneels down and said, Lord, if you're willing, make me clean. What does Jesus say? Jesus reached out his hand and just touched the man and said, I am willing. Then what does he say? Be clean. And what happens? Immediately the man is what? Next verse. Who else? Who is next in the line? Then Jesus said to him, see that you don't tell anybody. But go, give us verse 5. Then where does he go? No, 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 no. Verse 5. Now when he entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him and asked him for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed and is in terrible suffering. Now Jesus said to him, I will go and heal him. And the man says, well, I don't deserve you to come, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For myself, I'm a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes. This one, come, and he comes. Do this, and he does it. And when Jesus heard this, he said, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I said to you that many will come. Give me the next verse. Continue down. Then Jesus said to the centurion, what does he say? He says, go, and what? It will be done to you just as you believed. Now, now listen. Now the words of Jesus carry so much power. His presence carries so much power. He doesn't have to shout. He just says, go and you'll be healed. Why? Because he carries the presence of his father. He doesn't have to shout. He just says, fine, you go. The leprous man says, just, that's all right. You just, that's okay, you just go. You're healed, you go, fine, it's fine. You go. The next verse. 
Now what does he do? Now look, are you seeing the miracles are happening one after another? Why? He's just come from the presence. Notice the sequence. Now here he comes to the house of Peter. And who is sick? Is Peter's mother-in-law. What does he do? He just touched her. Can you imagine? He just touched her. And what happens? The fever just goes. He just touched her. Continue down. Then what, what happens in the evening? Now this is the same day. Same day miracles. Not another day. Same day miracles. The anointing is fresh. The power is fresh. Now he, he finds a man. Men who are demon possessed were brought to him. What does he do? He drives them out. And with what? With a word. With a word. He drives them out with a word with a word now let me tell you what this means it just means that when you spend time in the presence of god now your words become his words and his words become your words so you you when you speak it's as though he's speaking why because you are in his presence it, it just now you cannot draw a line between what is what is his and what's you. Now he just drives at demons and he healed every sick. Go down. So this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Now when Jesus saw the crowd around him, he gave orders to cross the other side of the lake. The people were just too many. What drew the people to Jesus? What drew the people to Jesus? It was the presence of God. It was the presence of God. It just brings the people. 